What's going on there, Mr. Barron? What's going on here is, is we have heard that the Trump allocated $300 million through the USMCA agreement for infrastructure improvements in the United States of America due to raw sewage and toxic chemical contamination coming in from Mexico is now being diverted by the Biden administration back to studies. Okay. We got a list of who the stakeholders are in the Tijuana River Valley. We got Wild Coast, we got Surfrider. Now let me fill you in first about Surfrider Wild Coast. We know that their plan, and I say it's their plan because Sludge Dedina, that was his plan that he gave to Surfrider for the Tijuana River Valley flood control plan. The EPA came out and said that plan is infeasible. So what do these guys do? These guys want to divert the Trump allocated money to studies. It has been overstudied in the Tijuana River Valley. Not one more penny needs to be studied. It isn't rocket science, folks. Gravity is king. It's either your best friend or your worst enemy. And right now it's the worst enemy of the resident stakeholders who are the true bosses of people like worthless Juan Vargas, who is also on that list of stakeholders who they collaborate with to divert the funding to studies, back to studies. This guy, this guy right here is not for the United States of America. He's not for the American people. This guy is pro-sanctuary, which means he's in bed with the Mexican cartel to human traffic people into this country, which means he's into child trafficking, which means he's into human sex trafficking, child sex trafficking, drug trafficking, everything the Mexican cartel stands for, this man, by sanctuary alone, if not everything else he does, is in bed with the Mexican cartel. He cares nothing about us. And it's the Biden administration that is diverting that funding back to studies. And they're all in cahoots. The whole clown car dem fest of elected officials and politicians who claim they are leaders. They are leaders. We're the leaders. They're supposed to follow our lead. We are the people. These guys work for us. And what Mr. Worthless Juan Vargas seems to forget is that he is in the legislative branch of the federal government. Okay? That doesn't mean he's in the judiciary. That doesn't mean he's in the executive. He's in the legislative, and he oversteps his bounds. And he forgets that. Well, we're here with this rude awakening for worthless Juan Vargas and all the like of them to tell him what's going on, that we the people are the resident stakeholders. He works for us, we're his boss, and we're ready to fire him.